welcome back to understand the uh, model of the sunflower. It's useful to introduce one more concept, which is called the golden angle. We take a circle and we uh, draw these, uh, this uh, angle in the circle, splitting the circle into two arc lengths, x and y. If we draw this angle so that x and y are in the golden ratio, then we say that g is the golden angle. So what does that say if x and y are in the golden ratio? It means that x divided by y, x is the larger arc length, y is the smaller arc length, x divided by y is equal to capital phi, the golden ratio. The reciprocal of the golden ratio is the golden ratio conjugate little phi, so y over x is little phi, and little phi is just the fractional part of big phi, so 1 plus little phi equals big phi. So that gives us the relationships between x and y. Then what about the golden angle g? Well, this angle g divided by the full angle of the circle, 2 pi, should be equal to the arc lengths y divided by the full arc length of the circle, which is x plus y. So g over 2 pi is equal to y over x plus y. Now we can um, use these formula to figure out what g over 2 pi is. So to do that, we can divide numerator and denominator by x. So y over x is phi, and uh, x over x is 1, plus y over x is phi, little phi. 1 plus little phi is big phi, so this is little phi divided by big phi. But big phi is just... 1 over little phi, so this becomes phi squared, okay? Phi squared is, is all right, that's, that's a correct result, but if we want to make it a linear result, we can take this equation and multiply by phi, so we have phi plus phi squared equals big phi times little phi is 1, because they're the reciprocal of each other. So phi squared, little phi squared, is just 1 minus little phi, okay? That puts it in a linear form. Putting this together, we get the golden angle then, multiplied by 2 pi, is 2 pi times 1 minus the golden ratio conjugate, 1 minus phi. Um, this is in radians if we put in 0.618 for phi, but we can also put this in degrees. If we put this in degrees, this is approximately 137.5 degrees. Okay, and you will see that in the literature for the golden angle, 137.5 degrees. The golden angle will then become an important angle in our modeling of the sunflower. And since we've already talked about continued fraction, it's uh, important for us to know what is the continued fraction of the um, golden angle. So let's try and figure that out. So here's our golden angle. We know the continued fraction for the golden ratio for phi, so it's better if we then convert this formula into a formula for the golden ratio. The golden ratio is x over y, so if we divide numerator and denominator here by y, we get 1 y over y equals y over y from the second term, which is 1, plus x over y, x over y is our golden ratio, capital phi. So this gives us g over 2 pi in terms of um, the golden ratio, 1 over 1 plus phi. And if we want to know what is the continued fraction for g over 2 pi, then we can just use the continued fraction for 
the golden ratio. So this is 1 over 1 plus the continued fraction for the golden ratio is 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 plus all the way, right? All 1s here. So what is this? These two terms combine to get 2. So it's 1 over 2 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1. So we can write that in our shorthand for form. A0 here is 0 because g over 2 pi is a number between 0 and 1. A1 is 2. This first value here is 2. And then A2, A3, A4, they're all 1. So we get a 1 here and it just repeats forever. So the golden angle divided by 2 pi, normalized by 2 pi, has a continued fraction with all 1s at the end here, all 1s. So it is also a very difficult number to approximate by a rational number. It is also the most irrational of the irrational numbers in the same way that phi itself is, all ending ones in the continued fraction expansion. Okay? So together with our knowledge of continued fractions and our knowledge of the uh, golden angle, we're ready to construct a model for the sunflower. I'll see you next time.